the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Glory to God! Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don, and uh, I just want to start out with a quick prayer. Thank you, Father, for my brothers and sisters, and thank you for your word in Jesus' name. And that's a quick word. That's a quick prayer. It's going to be a quick word, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I just know that we don't have to be religious here at this at this moment. If you want to be a lemon sucking Christian, go somewhere else and suck on your lemons. Right now I'm sucking on a cough drop and I'm pretty happy. And I've had a good time in the Lord this morning and I just get to come before you and share with you what the Lord's sharing with me and I like that. There's healing in that. And I just declare healing over you. I declare life over you. I declare that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. That you belong to Him. And those things I declare over you in the name of Jesus. And, uh, well, there's declarations of prayer. And then there's prayers of, I don't know. <laughs> I'm no theologian. <laughs> Thank God I'm not. Because I might be one of them lemon-sucking Christians if I was. All I know is I'm set free and so are you. And glory to God and I'm being healed and so are you. And uh, this morning the word is about healing. It's not about physical healing because we know about those. But it's about healing that happens within. It's about letting the Holy, or allowing the Holy Spirit to expose those things in us that need to be healed. And not holding on to them. It's, it's about... It's, about willing to be open it's about willing to be vulnerable it's about willing to be God's child and, and his child in every way not not about being a weenie or a wimp it's about being strong in the Lord and the power of his might but it's, it's about getting healed if you're holding on to things which I'm sure a lot of us are I know I am and I know that the Lord, little by little, knocks those <laughs> those areas down. He kicks those doors in. He don't just kind of chip away at them. Well, he does chip away at them. He chips away at them until they're ready to be kicked in. It's a good word. But I'm willingly partnering with God so that he will do that. Because I want peace. I want joy. I want happiness. I want the fruit of the Spirit. I want to be in love with the people I come in contact with. And uh, so I want healing in, inside of me. I want physical healing when I'm not feeling good or if something's not working right. But God works in mysterious ways and He works in such ways if we allow Him it will bring healing to our lives and it can save us a lot of money from counseling because we won't need that counseling because He is our counselor. He is our Prince of Peace. He is our mighty counselor. He is the Lord of glory. He is the God that made us. He understands us completely. And He loves us completely with abandonment. <laughs> he doesn't hold anything. He just loves us in His love. He just throws us into a sea of forgetfulness, into a sea of love. And, and that's a good word, especially if you're hurting. You want that hope. And I'm here to tell you that there is hope. But you have to be willing to take a step in the direction of faith. Because God's hands are effectively bound if we refuse to believe what He can do in our lives. I know what He can do in my life. <laughs> I'm a li living witness. This is a living testimony of God's goodness. I am a testimony of God's goodness. There's nothing hidden here. I keep my, One of my main prayers of late has been make me transparent. Make me translucent. Peel back those layers. Um, I believe in one of my earlier... Uh, blogs I I uh, I was talking about Jesus taking the last mask off of me that he was taking the last mask off of me but what was underneath that mask was ugly it was hideous it was horrible it was me but at the same time when he took that mask off and threw it away he put my face in his chest and began to speak healing into me And 
And, and it's a beautiful scene of, of what our God will do for us. He'll take your last mask off. He'll put your head in His chest. He'll speak healing into you. He'll kick those doors in that need to be kicked. And He'll, he'll, he'll send in a hostage rescue team to rescue you from the bondage that you're in. He is a hostage rescue team. He died for your your for your salvation. He died for your rescue. You just have to let go of the things that you're holding on to and say, Here I am, Lord. And my definition for today on healing is well it's actually definition of heal, but we can put an ING at the end of it. This is to make sound or whole, heal a wound, to restore to health, to cause an undesirable condition to be overcame or overcome, mend the troubles had not been forgotten, but they had been healed. William Power. I, I don't know who that is. You can look him up. <laughs> to patch up a breach or division, heal a breach between friends, restore to original purity or integrity, healed of sin. Well, that's a good word. Healing isn't always about what's on the outside. Sometimes it's about what's on the inside. But that healing can only come by us being willing to open up and to allow the Holy Spirit to apply that balm of Gilead. To remove those things. And sometimes it's painful to be healed. But once the healing is complete, that wound's no longer there. God does it so well that He doesn't even leave a scar. He can take those scars in your life and heal them. So we can go back to original, restore to original purity. God can restore you to original purity or integrity. If you are a liar, God can take those lies and turn them into the truth. The enemy has no hold on anything. God can do anything. And we have to realize that. That our God is the God of possibilities. Our God is the God of who we can be. Our God is the God of our healing inside, those wounds inside. Now, I've said this before, that the Lord has healed me to the point where I can say, I could have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on, on, mental, heal, on mental health issues. And still not been as far as I am right now. But it's not me doing the work. It's God. It's not some man with a pad and a pencil telling you to tell him his life, your life story. But it's God saying, this is what I have for you. It's God reaching in, pulling out, and pouring back in His love and goodness. Now if you can agree with that, you're, you're, you're well on the road to recovery. If you can agree to that, you don't think God will, will care that much about you, you need to ask the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is going to tell you He does care that much. You are that important to Him. Your mental health is that important. Your healing is that important. Every aspect of your being is that important to the Father. If it wasn't, He wouldn't have bothered sending Jesus. Jesus would have never came. Jesus would have never voluntarily left His home in glory if it wasn't that important. Because if it wasn't important to the Father, it wasn't important to Jesus. And if it wasn't important to Jesus, it wasn't important to the Holy Spirit. And that means it wasn't important to God. So anybody who says that what I've got, what I'm going through, isn't big enough to concern God, they're believing a lie. And are you believing a lie? 
Or are you stepping out and saying, yes, I have, I want everything that you have for me, Lord God. Whatever it takes, do the work. Ask yourself that. Pray about it. Seek the Lord. And my first scripture is Luke 4, 18 and 19. It says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has set me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering sight to the blind and to set liberty those who are oppressed and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Now looking upon that, there's really nothing in there that says the healing of the broken bones. or it, It's all internal. Everything it's talking about, even setting, giving sight to the blind. We were blind spiritually until Jesus introduced himself to us. Until the Holy Spirit removed those scales, we were blind. That whole passage of scripture out of Isaiah, which Jesus spoke, is about internal healing, about setting us free. You know, it's up to us to believe those things, though. If you don't believe that about yourself, then you need to get before God. You need to allow the minister truth to you. You need to allow Dr. J 